but he hate me because I'm a Cowboys fan, okay? <laughs> we put the Redskins like they had on purple pink panties, okay? <laughs> Oh, uh, Cowboys, who? I was like, Cowboys, you know who, you know. And that's the past. Every, I'm gonna come down here with them, is that okay? Yeah. Ever since I've been standing on the stage, this man right here been smiling at me. <laughs> you owe me, don't you? <laughs> okay, he's looking at me like, no, girl, you big. I'm not big, so I'm just fluffy, okay? <laughs> My measurements are a 50, a 50 and a 150, okay? I've been on a light diet. I've been on a light diet. I've been on a light diet. I really don't like you either. I've been on a light diet. I eat in the daylight, in the moonlight, and sometimes at night by my nightlight, okay? That's right. And, and all y'all school teachers, I knew, K N O O D, I knew I had to lose some weight when I couldn't see my feet no more, and I had to take my shoes and throw them out there and run and just jump in a cacao. I knew I had to lose some weight. <laughs> Pastor, I knew I had to lose some weight when I had to lay on the bed just to button up my coat. I knew I had to lose some weight. And, and, and how many y'all know Tamla Man? Any y'all know Tamla Man? She says, uh, take me to the king. Yeah. Listen, we was in a concert together. This is a true story. We are uh, Tom, Tom, Tony, Tony, Will, and Jerry. I got a name right. Yeah, give my hand. Thank y'all very much. I was at a concert. And, uh, and Tamla Man was singing there, and I've been on this diet, right? And I couldn't hear nothing she was singing. She was singing, take me to the king, I love it all for me. You know that song? I don't, the reason I couldn't hear it because I was singing something else. I was saying, take me to Dairy Queen. <laughs> I love their onion rings. <laughs> I broke a dollar into pieces, and it's my offering. <laughs> Go buy me an ice cream cone, and when I eat it, please leave me at home. <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant, so leave me there alone. This is the part I love. Truth is, I'm tired of being on this guy. I love their onion rings. I'm like Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. <laughs> y'all give it up for my band. I love y'all, man. Yes. And listen, I got another question for y'all. How many single ladies we have in here? Single ladies? Yes. None of y'all happy about y'all just go, mm hmm, that's it. <laughs> yeah, you go, ha! Ah. Ain't no wrong with being single. Ain't no wrong with being single. And y'all know Beyonce, Beyonce knows she wrote a song called All the Single Ladies. I know y'all know it. Y'all not that same. Y'all not that same. Girl, I know you know it. I saw you. I know you know it. So, so Beyonce wrote this song, but I rearranged it for our own protection, you know, because we Christians. So imagine as Beyonce knows, let me sing this song for her. So I'm going to sing it for you. All the single ladies, just put that hand in the air. And I know we can go over this uh, uh, wheel, but we're going we to go through this together, okay? <laughs> me and Todd went over, but me and you and, and, and Jared, they go, she says, All the single ladies, 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 I like all the single ladies, I like all the single ladies, all the single ladies, come on, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, To remind him that you're free. You want a man with a job, a man who's got a stop, and a man who will brush his teeth. Come on, my ladies! Give us a man that will brush his teeth and we satisfied with you in your That's a man that will brush his teeth. And ladies, I've been single, and Pastor, I've been singing as long as Moses was in the wilderness. And first lady, you know Moses was in the wilderness a long time, wasn't he? But y'all remember how Moses went to the mountaintop and, 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 and got instructions on the stone? Some of y'all may not know it, but I went to the mountaintop and started quoting Angie Stone. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I said, Lord, give me a black brother, a white brother, Hispanic brother, Japanese brother. I don't care. But you know what he got to be? A saving brother, a working brother, old house brother, don't live with his mother. Am I right, ladies? His mama! And Pastor, you know, since uh, Obama is in office, they can ready to have another millions being smart.
march. Y'all remember the first one? It was a million men marching. I had a problem with the first one. Say, Sister Catalo, why did you have a problem with the first assist? So he went to 
the uppity part of town. I don't know where the uppity part of town is. I figured it down there where all those people are selling all their furniture this week. So he went to the market, found him a sophisticated, long hair, Coca-Cola bottle shape, the sophisticated woman. He walked up to his there. What's your name? She said, Portia. He said, What's your name, girl, Portia? He said, What's your name, girl, Portia? What she gotta say it like that? She said, What's your name, girl, Portia? He said, What's your name, girl, Portia? She said, What's your name, girl, Portia? He said, What's your name, girl, Portia? Now what she gotta say it like that? So she said, He said, I'm gonna marry you. I'm gonna take you by the doctor to meet daddy, and then I'm gonna take you home to meet mama. So she started walking like Beyonce. She said, She said, Ha <laughs> ha 
was Sister Big Head. <laughs> Sister Big Head, yes. Girl, girl, the one that wore the mini dresses to church. Got no spaghetti legs, no meatball knees. <laughs> yes, her girl, yes. Well, see, uh, what she want, I'm not gossiping. I'm not gossiping, I'm just sharing. I'm just sharing. Girl, she think her husband is playing off on her. How she know? She sent her boyfriend to follow him. Ha <laughs> ha! That's how she know! Girl, you know her mind man. You know her mind man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold on just a moment, girl, hold on. Mother, I'm like, y'all, this phone, it don't ring until you, until you're busy. Have you ever noticed that? When you sit at home not doing nothing, the phone don't ring. It's time you get busy, the phone will start ringing. Yellow! Who is this? Boy, get her. T put Tasha on the phone. Y'all excuse me, this is my granddaughter. Tell Tasha to go home. Cause I said so. Said what, what is your name? T-Bone. Hold on, did your mama name you T-Bone? Then what's your real name? State, well listen here T-Bone State. <laughs> Tell Tasha I said get home now. Cause, cause, I, said, cause, I, cause I said so. Said, said what? You, cause you need to get a homework. She, yeah, she, yeah, you can't hear me. She need to get her homework. <laughs> Say what? Because she didn't pass the SAT test. The SAT test. The SAT spell set. She didn't pass it. Then she just sat right there and didn't pass it. She needs to get her homework. And you need to get yours too. I'm not your mama. Excuse me, Pastor. I'm not your dentist either, but I'll snatch out every tooth of the one that hurt. Oh, you don't want to play the dozens with me? You want to play the dozens with me? All right, well, your mama hair so nappy, Moses couldn't part it, okay? <laughs> your mama got three teeth and all them on her necklace, all right? And your mama got one eye and a peg leg, that's why we call her eye hop, okay? Okay, you don't want to put Tasha on the phone. Tasha, you better get on, you better get home now. Why? Because you have dishes to wash. Did you eat today? Then you have dishes today. On the day you don't eat, that's the day you don't have any dishes. Say <laughs> so what? Turn that rapping music on. I don't care if it's Kanye, Pepper, Kanye West, whatever his name is, turn them off. I'm mad because I can't rap. Hold on. I'm going to show these people how to rap. Sir, just you alone. Give me this right here. I like him. I like you too. I hear you. I hear you. I like that. I'm gonna show them how to rap. You better bring yourself home before I knock you out. You act like you don't know what I'm talking about. It seems to me like you think I'm playing. But I smack you on country, do you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at 
at them. You know what I'm saying? Ask me how ugly are the twins. They so ugly they're gonna have to trip or treat over the telephone, okay? <laughs> See, first lady, you don't understand how ugly these twins are. They 12 years old and just grew their first tooth. <laughs> and have the nerve to have a brace on it. <laughs> Why would you put a brace on one tooth? Girl, a brace is to you know, push your teeth back and push them closer together. If you got one tooth, where are you gonna move it? <laughs> one week I saw the tooth, girl, it was over here. The next week the tooth had moved over here. One week the tooth was sitting right dead in the middle of their face. And mama come dragging them up to me in church talking about, look at them. I said, do I have to? <laughs> Y'all, these children are ugly. Mama comes up out. She's proud of them. You know, they she my careful. She's proud of them. They got my eyes. And she cross eyed I come they got my husband's nose and he had a pig nose. I looked at them since they was kidding me. I said, well, they got my sympathy, okay? Because they ugly. <laughs> then mama gonna ask me to keep them. Have you ever opened up your door and saw ugly coming at you twice? <laughs> It was too wet, you know. 
if, if she had a burp, the burp was too loud. Whatever happened, it was just too much for her. So her husband said, you know what, baby? I need, you need a vacation. I'm going to take you to Egypt. I'm going to take you over there to Jerusalem. We're going to go on a vacation. So she got in the airplane. The airplane flew too high. They passed out peanuts. The peanuts was too salty. Gave her some soda water. The soda water was too salty. <laughs> She said, I'm just, ah, she's just angry. The Bible says it's better to be on the, on the housetop, on the rooftop, than being in a house with an angry woman. Am I correct? So they got to Jerusalem. She got to Jerusalem. You know, Jerusalem is nothing but desert. The desert was too hot. The sand was too sandy. She didn't like nothing. She was like, ah, she's so angry that she had a heart attack and died in Jerusalem. Yes. So the man went to the undertaker. He said, excuse me, sir. I'm from America. And my wife died over here, and I want to see how to get her back to America. He said, oh, no, sir, you can pay 100 and you, 150 United States American dollars and marry her right here in Jerusalem. But to take her back to the United States of the America, it's going to cost you 5,000 United States American dollars. He said, what? He said, yes, to bury her here in Jerusalem, only 150 United States American dollars. He said, man, he said, what are you thinking about, man? You're thinking about shipping up back to the United States of America for $5,000? He said, yeah. He said, why are you thinking this, man? He said, because 2,000 years ago, another man died here. <laughs> Three days later, he got up. I'm thinking I'm taking over that to this thing. I'm going to watch it in I'm free. I'm free. Thank God Almighty. I'm free. <laughs> So be careful how you treat your spouse. <laughs> See, pastor, they don't believe me. I'm going to tell them another. Can I tell them another? <laughs> there was a man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He was sick as unto death. Isn't that how the Bible describes it? Uh -huh. Sick as unto death. He was laying in the hospital bed. And his wife was right beside him. And so he said, honey, I know that I'm getting ready to pass. And before I leave this earth, I need to confess. She said, no, baby, just close your eyes. Close your eyes. Don't say a word. Don't say, he said, no. He said, I was a gambler, and everything in our house I wanted on the gambling table. She said, I know. He said, you know? She said, yes, now just close your eyes. Close your eyes. Don't say a word. Don't say a word. He said, no, baby, I must confess. He said, and I stole the money out of our children's college fund to gamble with. She said, I know. He said, you know? She said, yes. Now close your eyes. Close your eyes, baby. Don't say a word. Don't say a word. He said, no. You remember those twins I bought over to the house the other day? And I told you those were my niece? She said, yes. He said, those were my daughters. She said, I know. He said, you know? She said, yeah, that's why I poisoned you. Now close your eyes. Close your eyes. Don't say a word. Don't say a word. You gotta be careful. Ah, how you treat your spouses. You gotta be careful. Y'all are crazy. I love y'all. Y'all hold up. <laughs> y'all hold up just a moment. Hey, y'all stop back. Yeah. No, we got some kids here. Yeah. So I, I tell them that later. Then I I'm talk to the kids first. Then I come back and tell them. All right. All right. Let me talk to the kids right quick. Okay. All right. Bye. Hold on. Uh, the pastor, I noticed we have kids here, and I want to make sure that they understand some of my comedy. So I wrote some things for them. So this is for you all. How y'all doing? Y'all okay? Y'all okay? I, I'm going to tell you a joke, okay? There was a woman trying to get to church on Wednesday night, okay? And she could get on Sunday morning, but Wednesday night she couldn't get to church. So she went to the pastor. She said, Pastor, I can't get to church on Wednesday night. She said, why? He said, because I work on a farm. You know what a farm is, right? So he said, and uh, she said, and, and the farm, I, I was telling them a joke, and they just You sent me to the bathroom. I was doing it, now I want to hear the joke. I'm just kidding. So anyway, <laughs> so I'll just tell it to the babies here. So anyway, so she said, she said, when I get to when I get to the animals, they won't go in the barn. Y'all know what a barn is, right on the farm. So I said, so, so she said, she said, she said, okay. We said, well, I tell you what, you, you speak to those animals and they shall obey because we as humans have dominion over the animals. So he said, so she said, in the farm they say, um, um, old McDonald had a farm. You know that one? And what does it say? <laughs> yeah. And on that farm he had a what? 
What else do, do the farmer have on the farm? Animals. Okay, we got that straight right there. What kind of animals? On that farm, he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O, and he had a what? A quack quack? Yes, and there and everywhere. So anyway, so she said, she spoke to the duck, she said, duck, duck, get in the barn. The duck said, what did that say? Quack, 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 quack. Went to the chicken, said, chicken, chicken, get in the barn. Chicken said, blah, 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 blah. Well, maybe that's a turkey, I'm not for sure. Spoke to the sheep, said, sheep, sheep, get in the barn. Where does sheep go? So the sheep went in the barn, but she went over there, and what she did is she made a mistake. She talked to the pig. She said, pig, pig, get in the barn so I can go to church tonight. Now that's where she messed up. The pastor told her, just speak, don't talk, speak. So she said, pig, pig, get in the barn so I can go to church tonight. The pig spoke back. He said, I'm not getting in that barn. So she said, what? So she walked over to the dog. She said, dog, dog, bite pig. Pig won't get in the stall. I can't go to church tonight. The dog said, I shall bite pig. She walked to the father. She met a stick. She said, stick, stick, beat dog, dog won't bite pig. Pig won't get in the stall. I can't go to church tonight. The stick said, I shall beat dog. She walked to the father. She met fire. She said, fire, fire, burn. Stick, stick, won't beat dog, dog won't bite pig. Pig won't get in the stall. I can't go to church tonight. So the father said, I shall burn stick. She walked to the father. She met water. She said, water, water, quits. Fire, fire, won't burn stick, stick, won't beat dog, dog, won't bite pig, pig, won't get in the stall. I can go to church tonight. So the water said, I shall quench fire. She walked the first, she met an ox. She said, ox, ox, drink water, water, won't quit, fire, fire, won't burn, stick, stick, won't beat, dog, dog, won't bite, pee, pee, won't get stuck. I can go to church tonight. So the ox said, I shall drink water. She walked the first, she met a butcher. She said, butcher, butcher, kill, ox, ox, won't drink water, water, won't quit, fire, fire, won't burn, stick, stick, won't beat, dog, dog, won't bite, pee, pee, won't get stuck. I can go to church tonight. So the, so the butcher said, I shall kill, ox. She walked the first, she met a rope. She said, rope, rope, hang, butcher, butcher, won't kill, ox, ox, won't drink water, water, won't quit, fire, fire, won't burn, stick, stick, won't beat, dog, dog, won't bite, pee, pee, won't get stuck. I can go to church tonight. So the rope said, I shall hang butcher. She walked to the further. She met a rat. She said, rat, rat, no, rope, rope, won't hang butcher, butcher, won't kill, that ox, won't drink water, water, won't quit, spot, fire, won't burst it, won't get dark, no, won't bite it, they won't get it, I can go to church tonight. So the work rat said, give me some cheese. So the old lady walked all the way home, got the cheese, give me some cheese, girl. Give me some cheese, just put it in my hand right there, boom. So she got the cheese. She walked all the way to the, to the rat. She gave the rat the cheese. The rat ate the cheese, and what did the rat do? The rat began to gnaw the rope, the rope began to hang the butcher, butcher began to kill the ox, ox began to drink the water, water began to quench the fire, dog began to burn the stick, they began to beat the dog, dog began to bite the pig, pig got in the stall, and when the old lady got the church, church was over! <laughs> I know the dust said, Sister Kella, what's the moral to this story? Kill that pig in the beginning! <laughs> So I'm going to get the teenagers right quick. I got the little people, I got the teenagers, and I'm going to come back to the adults. Is that okay? So, teenagers. You know the reason the teenagers, from 12 all the way up, the reason they really don't read the word pastor is because they don't understand the Bible. The, the these, the thous, and the those confuse them. Even a 10-year-old. You're about 9 or 10, son? Nah, I know. You're handsome, too. So, cutie pie. So anyway. So the reason y'all don't read the word is because y'all don't understand the Bible. So they said, Sister Callalo, you know, people write, Sister Callalo, can you do something for the teenagers? So I wrote this for you all. So I put your people together with the people in the Bible. So I went and got Forrest Matthew Gump. Put them together. I got John Jerome Rome. Put them together. I got Snoop Peter Dog. okay? I put them together. I got Michael. James Jackson, put them together, okay? I got Lazarus Elvis Presley, put them together, okay? So I began to tell the story. I said, Forrest began to talk. He said, you know, I was talking to Janet just the other night. And I said, Janet, man, that should have been, I was out with Jesus and, and he was feeding, he was talking to the multitude. There was over 5,000 people there. Well, there were more people there because the women were there, but they didn't count. So we didn't count the women. He said, and I was telling Jenny, I said, Jenny, I said, we went up to Jesus and said, Jesus, we've been here all day and we have hungry. And Jesus said, well, I'm not abracadabra. You got to give me something to work with. So, there, so we had our first jacket in the desert. They coming on back in. Let's wait till they get back in. No. 
I am going to, that's what I'm doing now. Yeah, he liked that other one. I can't go back to that one. These people will leave if I keep telling the joke over and over. You gonna get, they gonna get this one too. So I tell them one when I finish with them, I tell them a small one, okay? So anyway, so he said, he said to Jenny, he said, he said, he said uh, Jesus, we hungry. He said, J Jesus said, well, I'm not abracadabra. You gotta give me something to work with. So we had our first jacket in the desert because a little boy, boy walked by with a sack lunch and we jacked it from him. <laughs> and all he had in there was five, you know, five loaves of bread and two fishes. And Jesus turned into Jack and Chan and chopped it up. And we had two to fish sandwiches for days. I was just thinking to myself, Jenny, had there been three scripts in there, we could have had script kebab, script creole, script casserole. <laughs> and Snoop Peter Dow said, yeah, because <laughs> I like scrimps. <laughs> so they said, Snoop Peter Dow. Y'all know Snoop Dogg, right? Snoop Peter Dogg, what's your encounter with Jesus? Give me that beat, give me that. Ba
is your encounter with Jesus? Lazarus said, Awella, 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 Awella. Jesus took the keys and went down the hill. 